Hey, what's up, guys? It's Apollo Uchiha here, back with another movie. And today, as you have guessed, title is going to be "What If Naruto Had Wood Release." So, um, let me get you a rundown of the story. Basically, Naruto is not going to be the son of Minato and Kushina, and going to be the son of Jiraiya and Tsunade. And there is going to be a twist slightly, and it's an unscripted version, and it's going to be an hour long as well. So sit back and relax and enjoy. And yeah, I'm going to be making a double or, double upload as well. And today, the What If Naruto, the Blonde's Future series, is going to end hopefully. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you haven't, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel. And without further ado, let's begin our story. We see Naruto trapped in a prison cell, confined with uh, chakra suppression seals, and his chakra seals away alongside his connection to the QB. He was crying. His eyes were devoid of life and light once they held. Why was he here now? Let's go into a flashback. Naruto was sent on a mission alongside a rescue team to retrieve Sasuke. Once Naruto reached Valley of the End and he was fighting Sasuke, when Sasuke turned into uh, the black, you know, curse, curse stage seal thing, and attacked Naruto. Naruto then some did something unexpected. No, it didn't activate the QB's chakra like it normally did. But he slams he slammed his hands on the surface of water and from beneath the water a large stump grew. A stump of wood and slammed into guts of Sasuke, knocking him out cold and knocking Naruto out as well as the stump retracted back underwater and Kakashi reached there after seeing that what his student has caused he picked Sasuke up and dragged Naruto back in anger that Naruto was the one who who did this after turning into QB cloak and rampaging there once he returned Sasuke was taken to the hospital immediately whereas Naruto was thrown after Sasuke uh, Kakashi gave his report of what he saw and what he believed happened and Naruto was put on with suppression seals and his chakra was cut off permanently and was thrown into prison for future judgment. Naruto was now there for almost two days and everyone has been visiting him and each of the last visit was better than the previous one. Why? Because all his friends, senseis, even his Tsunade who he thought of as a mother and Shizune who he thought as a sister visited him and berated him calling him that why did he rely on the chakra of QB? he's a monster, he's turning into a monster, he's being manipulated by the monster and Jiraiya straight out told him that he was not his apprentice from here on out as well as that um, he's going to tell the doors and they have rectify you that you are not able to qualify for summoning doors anymore because you are not worth their time as well as Jiraiya's time and Sonare told him that you are just a trash that um, would hurt his comrade over a mission as did Kakashi and Sonare took back his necklace that she gave him over the bed saying that she d he doesn't deserve it and once it was done, Naruto was now there. That was the end of the flashback and now we see your present. Naruto was still staring at the steel door it opened and an Anbu came. Prisoner Uzumaki, you have been summoned by the council. As Naruto was tracked by the Anbu to do there. Once Naruto was arrived there with the Anbu, he was placed in the middle and with handcuffs on as he was told to be sat on chair. As he sat down, the council began. Ganon Uzumaki Naruto, you have been charged for assaulting and almost killing the last Uchiha as well as your teammate. How do you plead? Told Koharu. She was angry at the child. But Danzo, Danzo wasn't there. Where was he? Well, that's another, that's for a story for another time as it was very curious and frightening that Danzo wasn't present at the council meeting regarding Naruto, the Jinchuriki, for the first time. Well, anyways, 
they didn't care much thinking that old bat might be doing some work on his own as koharu began how do you plead Ganin Uzumaki? answer i shut up don't lie shouted kakashi he was angry that naruto would do something like this as Tsunade was angry as well. Naruto Uzumaki, I, as Godam Hokage, strip you from the right as a civilian or citizen as well as a ninja of Konoha Gakure. You are to be banished. If you ever set foot in the land of fire, you will be executed on sight. You have one hour to leave. And you cannot take anything except for your clothes. Now leave. As Naruto just looked in shock his hold was, was was crashing down upon him as he said hi he left his headband there and went outside as the civilian side of consuls alongside with shinobi shinobi were not that happy but they thought that naruto was becoming a threat so it was necessary but they were still sad whereas the civilians were happy that they have gotten rid of that demon vessel and their village was safe as Naruto went outside, his friends were hurling insults at him as, long, as well as the villagers. As Naruto went outside and left for good. As he left, it has been two days now. Naruto was never heard of by anyone. Back in the Konoha Gakure, Danzo came rushing in the office and called for a private meeting between elders and Hokage and Jiraiya. As Sonade was curious what Danzo would do, want to say to them as he did what he said after gathering them he the Koharu began what is it Danzo why did you call this meeting I have called this meeting regarding the banished canon Uzumaki Naruto I have found some interesting facts that you might want to hear Koharu Danzo said giving her a paper as everyone gave a curious look at what was on the paper as Koharu read her eyes became wide in shock and then from shock into fear and from fear into despair as a tear began to fall from her eye is is that true is what that is written on this paper is true Danzo don't lie to me please tell me is it true unfortunately yes it is true it seems we have been lied by our dear fourth Hokage all this time after he Uttering these words, everyone was shocked as Jiraiya became angry about his deceased student like that. What do you mean we have been fooled by my deceased student? You have no right to judge him like that, Danzo. If you have better things to say, say them to my face. Jiraiya. Koharu began. Danzo and I are your parents. At Hearing this, Jiraiya was shocked because he thought of himself as an orphan and it was quite a shock and Jiraiya was angry at first and told him why, why did they abandon him? As Danzo began, we were too young, we were 15 to 16 at that time when we conceived you and when that happened we were afraid what might happen and from the wrath of Tobirama sensei so we did what we thought best we placed you when you were born in the orphanage so the, as the Jiraiya was now quiet in shock at what their parents supposedly parents told him as Sonade was curious and said so what does it have to do with Naruto she said as Danzo began it seems that Minato has lied he never had a son after hearing these words, both Jura and Tsunade was shocked. What do you mean? Naruto was his son when before the demon was sealed inside him. Now he's just a vessel who is being manipulated by it. Stated Jiraiya with some anger at the mention of Naruto as well as Tsunade. As Danzo sighed alongside with Koharu who was still crying. Hamura was now quiet and listening to this all. As Danzo began, Dan Naruto was never the son of Minato and Kushina, nor was he the Jinchuriki of Kyubi no Kitsune. After uttering these words, both Jira and Sonade were shocked and then they were enraged. How can you say that? What proof do you have? Because these papers, Koharu begin, are the proof. As 
she gave papers to both of them as both of them read both of them were shocked and then Jiraiya was angry as Sonare was crying after that almost had an heart attack is it true is this is this, is this what happened is this what happened really Jiraiya did you know about this no I thought he died in the rubble at the Cubis attack. Oh my god! Now I see it. That's why Naruto's eyes were divided and they were black. Of light. I thought the, it was because he was manipulated by Cubis, but it was his original color of eyes. When we sealed off his chakra, his energy was dropped. Oh my god. And his blonde hair was because of you. What have we done? We have banished our own son, which we thought died in the Cubis attack. But wait a minute! Jiraiya said out of his shock and happiness that his son was alive. Then, then why did Minato told us that he died and he had to see the Cubis inside of his son? Well, you see, Sarutobi has been hiding some things from you. How do you know this, Danzo? Sonade said, narrowing his eyes at him. <sighs> Look, I'm going to be honest here. I have been operating Root in secret. And believe me when I say it was for the betterment of this village. As I have stopped many crimes and embezzlement within the village with the help of them. I have record of each and every one of the civilians as well as the rest of the Shinobi clan. And to say the least, my... Rudanbu was there when that happened. It was helping in evacuation as on my command. And he saw everything that happened and took place there. You see, Jiraiya, I've been looking after you in the shadows. And when I heard that I was going to be a grandfather, I was happy. And so happy that you married the Tsunade Senju at the time and you were having your child at, with her. But when I heard the news, from my agent that the first Hoka, the fourth Hokage kidnapped him and destroyed the building when the QB was attacking there looking like making it look like it was an accident and the rubble killed your baby by placing there it with a blood clone of the baby which was dead as he took the child as his own and hanged it as his son and supposedly sealed the original QB and alongside his soul into his own daughter, his original biological daughter, Nar Natsumi Uzumaki Namikaze, which he then took alongside with Kushina away from the land of fire by leaving dead bloody clones there. And Sarutobi was informed of this after a month. He has documents hidden somewhere in this office. I hope you can look at them for the confirmation. After hearing everything, Jiraiya was furious, beyond furious that his student would do this. How could he do this? He made his own senses son into a scapegoat and, so that his daughter and his family could live in peace. And then he blamed himself with guilt and sorrow that how could, how could he do this to his own son? How could he crush such a happy and lively soul into nothing but a shell? Then Tsunade was weeping and alongside Koharu, her heart broke that she had banished her own son without listening to her, uh, without listening to any of his reasoning and now probably might have lost him for good because he might hate her for the rest of his life. As guilt was resting upon each and every one of sh persons their present shoulders because of what they had done. Then Jiraiya smashed his fist near the bookshelf present in the Hokage office. Damn it! As he said this, a secret compartment behind the bookshelf opened and in there was a documents and letters from Minato. After they took out the documents, they began to reading it. In there was information that how Minato did everything that framing Naruto to be the Jinjuriki whereas he wasn't and leaving the essence of Cubis chakra only 1 to 2 percent there so that it might seem that he really was the Jinchuriki of the QB in the eyes of Hyugas as well as Uchiha's and some seal masters. 
whereas the original QB was his sister that was was his daughter sorry which was taken by uh, which was taken by um, Kushina and him to the left side of land of fire where they resided they will be coming back um, in 16 years which was two years from now and once their letter finished they were infurious, enraged, and they called for a council meeting. Sonari yelled, Anbu, call for the council meeting now! As every one of them arrived there, alongside the rookie lemon with their parents, who were out celebrating the banishment of the said demon. And once they arrived, uh, the civilian side began, Sonari Sama, why have you called for a council meeting? We were celebrating the banishment of the demon. Shut up! Jiraiya yelled out in raised and leaking out his killer intent enough to freeze the clan ears alongside with the crooky lemon and civilian council almost passing out as the danzo began the boy was in the jinjuriki it seems our fourth hokage has lied to us but how i have seen it with my own byakugan the kid has the chakra of the nine tails inside of him no it doesn't have any chakra it was only one to two percent of its residue to make us into a fool and think that the kid really does have the QB in sealed inside of him. It was all planned and done by none other than the fourth Hokage, so that he and the real Jinchuriki, his daughter, and his mother, Kushina Uzumaki, the mother of their daughter, Kushina Uzumaki, could live peacefully and will, retur- will be returning two years later because they thought that the villagers might hate her. For what happened and they framed Naruto. At hearing this, all of the Shinobi as well as Rookie 11 as well as civilians were shocked. Then one of the rookies began, but why would they frame Naruto? Then Sakura began, huh, obviously because he was a clanless loser. Asunade was angry and said, shut up little girl, you have no idea who he is. He is my son and Jiraiya's son and he is my grand son said both Koharu and Danzo after hearing this every in and everyone and each one of them paled civilians because they had banished the last Senju here who wasn't even a Jinchuriki and these shinobis were because that they, they were fooled by their own friend and they have banished an innocent child for Nothing but completing his mission. Then Kakashi began. But I saw him. He used the. I saw the destruction he caused. I know what you saw, Hatake. I have sent my agents after him after I confirmed my theory that he was my grandson. Long before you all or any could. And then. What I saw shocked me to the core. You people are utterly truly stupid. You, Jiraiya, and Sonare will be shocked what I'm about to reveal. He knocked out Sasuke by using Moketan. After uttering these words, each and every one of them were shocked. But civilians started to yell, We have to retrieve him. We have to call him back. We have to cancel his banishment. He has shot as Kakegankai. Maybe we should put him under the CRA so that we can breed him and have more sand juice alongside with the Kek- Kakegankai users, Sonata flared her chakra, none of you will ever touch my kid, and the one who will he marry will be up to him and have to pass my test alongside with Jiraiya's, and mine as well, Koharu began, and civilians were like, oh, we're fucked now, and the shinobi council was terrified at, at the news, because they were also thinking of forming an alliance with Senju's, and then Sonari began, if you don't believe us, then why don't we call Sasuke Uchiha himself and look through his memories? Inoichi, would you be kind enough to sh- show us his memories with your new technique that you were talking about? Jiraiya began, after Sasuke was summoned there. Yes, no, I am an Uchiha elite. I have given you no permission to s- look into my mind. It was not a fault. He used the demon's chakra to knock me out. I was going to return to village. Shut up and still still, traitor, said Danzo. Everyone was 
shocked at what Danzo has said to the Uchiha because everyone knew that Danzo always supported the Uchiha. And then when Inoichi, show, uh, Inoichi showed everyone there what Sasuke's memories were, everyone was terrified, afraid that what they had done and what they saw was amazed them and filled them with guilt. Naruto never did use the Cubist Chakra and it was Naruto who defeated Shikaku of the One Tails with his own Moketan abilities while Sasuke was there treating his teeth and seething and most of all that Naruto never did use the Cubist, Cubist Chakra just like Sasuke and Kakashi mentioned at the Valley of the End even he tried to stop him and reason with him but Sasuke didn't care. He even said that the, he left the village willingly in the clip. And when the clip ended, everyone was furious. Even the civilians were. Sakura was even furious at this. Because she wasn't like the fangirl in, shown in other series. In my this movie, I'm going to make her a little bit of useful. Not completely useless like she is. Anyways, continuing on. As... Um, yeah, as Sakura spoke up, you lied to all of us. When he asked you, did you save us? Why did you say yes? When you cl- when it was clear that Naruto saved us. You liar. I can't believe I had crush on you ever. And defended you against a true hero. Traitor, disgusting vermin, said Ino. And Hinata was crying. She had just denounced him as her crush and has thrown his Nindo way out of his our life as well as strike him strike his lower heart side with a deadly juke and attack. Everyone was holding their heads down in shame. We have to call him back, Kakashi said. After everything was revealed regarding Minato Kakashi who was also present there alongside with every and each one of the uh, Konoha Elite Jonins, they were afraid, terrified, and angry. Angry at Minato and his family, terrified and guilty, and afraid for Naruto. He might never forgive them, or he might never return, or he might even try to take his revenge on them, or he might never forgive them. Sonade and Jiraiya were also holding their heads down in shame. Jiraiya even summoned the toad named Pa. As Pa came there, he was looking at Jiraiya furiously. Jiraiya boy, why have you called us here? Well, you see, it's regarding Naruto. We are not going to talk about Naruto. He is with us and he is safe. We have taken him in our care. And he will not be returning to Konoha. He will be trained by us and then... When the danger will fall upon the world, he shall save it, as said in pro- prophecy. As the great elder Toad Sage have met him and said that he was the child of prophecy. After hearing this, everyone and each one of them that were present there was shocked, and Sasuke seated his teeth in anger, who was also present there. Why is the dog getting so much powerful? It should be rightfully mine. Shut up, you little vermin said the toad you don't deserve any power even you don't deserve those eyes it should be exterminated those eyes were the worst in their kinds those eyes are able to control or manipulate the piju into attacking anything or destroying anyone hmm. if my theory is correct we all knew that QB is a peaceful piju who never attacked anyone or anything in the land of fire or elemental nations before. Do you agree with me, everyone? The toad said. Yes. It never occurred to us. Why didn't we think about it? The QB only attacked when Hashirama and Madara fought. Why? At the time, Hashirama stated that Madara was able to control QB from his Sharingan. Does the QB had Sharingan when it was attacked, attacking the village 12 to 13 years ago? As most of the Jonin were now in deep thought, and then they begin, yes, yes it had Sharingan, I have seen it, begin 
Yukao Uzuki, who was a uh, tuning at the time and saw Kyuubi's eye as Sharingan, but didn't think much of it. Yes, it has three tomos in it. Then my thoughts are correct. Indeed, it seems that the Uchiha were yet again behind another attack after the village. It's good that they have been exterminated, leaving these two behind. One is a traitor who will be killed on sight if he ever set foot inside the land of fire. And the other one is here. Now it is up to you to punish him. Oh, by the way, Naruto is with us. You don't have to worry about him. He, he, he's deeply hurt, Jiraiya. His soul and will to live on is broken. We don't know if we can help him recover from it, but we're going to try. As even the great elder Toad says, cried for his sake and begged him for his forgiveness for what this world has done to him. And told him that please forgive him, forgive them, and look past our mistakes and please save us from the falling disaster. After hearing his words, he poofed away, and everyone held their heads down in shame. After hearing their friends slash um, comrade and their juniors' condition, and. Kakashi then spoke up, when are they going to arrive, in anger and when I'm in his voice. Who? You know who? My sensei, he started with Venom and his family, he spat out. Hmm, we would also like to know, so we can give them a warming welcome, began Inoichi, who was also furious. Hmm, I don't know, maybe in between one to two more years. Until then, we're going to try our hardest to train so that we can one day look, go look outside the village and land a fire for Naruto and then retrieve him back in hopes that he forgive us then. This meeting is adjourned. Sonade began. Now, back to where Naruto. When Naruto was banished, he was outside the land of fire. He was stumbling. His soul was broken. His eyes were devoid of light and love. His eyes were now black and his hair was light blonde similar to Tsunade. And he was walking outside the village, sorry, land of fire, on a road aimlessly, thinking about the previous conversation he had with his ex-friends, comrades, slash family or his precious people that at least he thought they were. And then suddenly. Gamakichi appeared. Naruto, why did you try to kill Sasuke? He was your comrade. Gamakichi began. He also had tears in his eyes. Now Gamakichi thought of Naruto as his own brother. And they were friends. Best of friends. That is why Gamakichi was there. Because he refused to believe that Naruto did anything. And when Jira confirmed it, he was sad, angry and frustrated. So he thought that he should go and confront Naruto about it and when he was there he saw Naruto's condition N Naruto you don't look okay Kichi is that you <laughs> at least I I guess you were the only one left huh are you also here to blame me for things I didn't do after hearing this Gama Kichi was shocked what are you referring to Naruto didn't you hurt the Uchiha kid? Listen, I never did hurt him. And Naruto unzipped his jacket. He... He hurt me instead. Look. As Naruto showed him the wound in his gut, it was terrifying. His intestines were even showing at some point, but he was alive only God knows how. And he was about to pass out. Oh shit, Naruto! Let me get some help. As Kichi then reverse summoned back to Mount Miyaboku and brought back two toads. They were medic toads. As the two toads uh, took Naruto and reverse summoned back to the Mount Miyaboku. Once Naruto arrived at Mount Miyaboku, Gamabunta was furious. Why did you bring this ex summoner here? He has tried to kill his comrade. Look, father, I know that you're angry at Naruto, but look at his condition. After Gamabunta looked at his condition, he was. He was kind of shocked as well. Hmm. 
get him to the medics treat him well after he is done treated we will listen to his explanation and if we find that he is lying to us then he will be banished for good from Mount Miyaboku as well and if he isn't lying then we will train him and think of future possibilities he said as Fukasa Kanshima appeared Kamabunta boy um, the great toad elder sage has told us that we are to bring the child of prophecy that has just arrived to Mount Meboku. Where is he? Hmm, is he the child of prophecy? He just tried to kill his comrade, just as Jura confirmed it. Hmm, I don't know about that, but he is the child of prophecy. So he, the great toad elder sage, told us to bring him back to us. Hmm. He is now recovering from his fatal wound. Once he is recovered, we will bring him to the great toad elder sage. Fine. Two days later, um, Naruto started to woke up. Uh, where am I? Naruto began. As his eyes started to left side, where a small toad was. It was Kamakichi. It's good to see you back, Naruto. Kamakichi? Where am I? Naruto began, his eyes still lifeless and his soul still broken. You're at Mount Miyaboku, huh? Oh, the place you call home, huh? As Naruto was drifted back to his own thoughts after the mentioning of world home, he had just lost everything. For what? Completing his own mission? He was angry. Angry at first. Very much angry. Before he met the toad sage. As then, suddenly, two little toads appeared. They were Fukusaka and Shima. Ah, Naruto boy, you have been called by the great toad elder sage. You are to come with us. Hi. Naruto began. As both of them look, were looking at Naruto intentively as they entered the domain of the great toad sage. As the great toad sage began. Hmm. Are you Naruto Uzu? Are you Naruto Senju? He said, Naruto was shocked at this. No, I was named as Naruto Uzumaki. Do you know of your parents? No, I don't. I think they abandoned me or they died at the QB stack. <laughs> I'm orphan. He said this. Words in dry voice. Hmm. Well, my child, I think it's time to reveal some mysteries and secrets that I have come across. Naruto, what I'm about to tell you, you have to listen to me first, intentively. Okay? Hi. As Kamabunta, Gamakichi, Fukasaka, Naruto and Shima listen attentively to the great old elder sage and explaining to Naruto that his parents were Tsunade Senju and Jiraiya of the Hasanin and that how Minato was the one that misplaced him and framed him as the cubist in Jorgi and used him as a scapegoat for his family to flee whereas he wasn't because he only has one or two percent of chakra or residue you can say so that it will show the yugas or seal masters or the uchihas that he really was the jinjuriki fooling everyone And that um, how they didn't both of his parents didn't knew that he was their child and they thought that he died in the attack. Now how did the old toad sage old toad sage knew? Well, obviously because he can see prophecies. So my guess is that he can even see futures or person's memories. Anyways, back to the story. Um. As Naruto was being explained this, his anger rose very, very high. His anger and chakra flared then suddenly, breaking the seals placed on him. His chakra was obviously visible in purple color, similar to that of Hashirama's. Suddenly, the sage chakra also erupted from his body as the marking of Hashirama's sage mode also appeared on Naruto's face, shocking everyone there. Naruto was stepping into the Sage Chakra without even being trained at it. He was a truly genius prodigy. His mild alternation seals which were placed by none other than Hiruzen also broke. 
and when it broke down Naruto was standing there it was all glory his purple chakra fraying alongside with the Senjutsu chakra his eyes has the marking similar to that of Hashirama Senju when he is in his sage mode as tree started to sprout from his side in his protection and then the elder toad says said calm down Naruto you have to listen to me as Naruto didn't care his chakra was so dangerously flaring that the whole thing started to shake violently and they were starting to form cracks in it and then suddenly a light appeared calming Naruto down and then Naruto passed out and from the light appeared a man in white robes as everyone even the great toad elder sage bowed ha- Hagoromo is that you yes my friend how have you been we're fine but why why are you here i thought you passed on <laughs> my friend when you have to look after the whole elemental nations you cannot be at ease or rest even in the afterlife i have seen and and heard about the horrors of this world what my chakra or ninshu has turned into weapon by these people for their own profits and gains i sometimes regret giving them chakra but i still hope that they will come together in unison and peace because of it and i believe this child here will be the key hmm how can you be so sure Wait. Gamma Bunta boy. Shut up. Do you know who he is? is? Huh? I know he's the great toad elder sage, but Naruto just tried to kill his comrade. That is what Jiraiya confirmed. If he is to brought the peace, then how can we be sure that he wouldn't try to kill anyone else? Ah, I see. So you have been told this by Jiraiya, huh? Well, you see the thing is that Jiraiya told this lie by none other than his own sensei Kakashi Hatake who after arriving at the valley of end if i can see from my visions did nothing just grab Sasuke and drag Naruto there framing him that he used Kyuubi's chakra without even confirmation and that was all that happened and Jiraiya was furious that why did his student would do anything like this he believed he was Minato's son and that he will be similar to him but how wrong he was he was actually his own son alongside with Tsunade's and he was his personality was like mixture of both of them always getting angry easily as well as taking up challenges and funny and goofy and yeah he didn't take after you know Jiraiya's pervertedness i'm happy with that as i have deemed him worthy of carrying on the ninshu what everyone said in unison yes you have heard me correct my friend i have deemed naruto worthy of carrying ninshu even after what has happened to him in his heart is nothing but guilt and sorrow being after being betrayed by the ones he calls his precious people and he still doesn't want revenge for them for what they did to him without listening to his side of his story all he wants is nothing to do with them never want to meet them but still protect them from the shadows if he can because in his heart they are still precious to him but he doesn't trust them at all the sage ended now i'm going to train naruto for the next six years he will be coming back once he is 18 years old hi we understand we also want naruto to have us back as his summons yes he may have them once i'm done training him he will be back as a new person i hope the future is bright once he is ready to lead us to that light that is well Agroma said as he moved his hand using the power of his training gun lifted Naruto into the air carrying the carrying the Naruto's now unconscious body closer to him I shall take my leave my friend 
and hopefully we will meet after six years. Johnny, he said as he vanished into the portal alongside Naruto, as the rest of them were shocked at what just transpired in front of them. Hmm. We have a lot to answer for to Naruto, and you have a lot to answer to us, Jiraiya, Minato. Hmm. Said Fukusaka as everyone agreed there. Now we go to where Naruto and the Sage of Six Path is. As Naruto woke up, well, where am I? Am I dead? Finally. I guess the doors put me out of my misery. Well, at least I can be at some sort of peace here. It looks peaceful. Peaceful it is, my child, but you have some duties too that you need to fulfill. What? Who are you? Naruto said. I am Hagoromo Utsusuki, also known as the Sage of the Six Paths. Hagoromo began. What? You mean to say you're the Sage of the Six Paths? But I thought he was just a myth. Well, am I not in front of you? No, no, I don't mean to be disrespectful. I mean you are, but I thought you were just a myth. <sighs> well, my child, you see I am right in front of you, alive and breathing. Anyways, we're getting off topic here, Naruto. I brought you here so that I could train you. And you are to become the Ninshu of Heir of the Ninshu. So that you can protect this world as its guardian from the rest of the Otsusukis. You see, when a world is left unattended for several thousand years, Otsusukis arrive there to conquer it. In less than 60 years, Otsusukis are going to come, if my guess is correct. And then they are going to steal this place from Miss Chakra. You see, when once a guardian is dead, or have died from the world that is supposed to guard then um, after one or two thousand years if the also Sukis deem that planet not worthy of surviving just like this is then it will be destroyed but the Jubi each one of them has Jubi in them you see my mother also had a Jubi but she was corrupted when she ate the chakra fruit and that is why she became violent and her mental state became to decrease and her reasoning faded away. She was nothing but a ruthless monster who wanted to conquer this world. Which were um, not regarding the rules of the Otsusuki. You see, we Otsusukis are a peaceful clan, but we can be cruel in our own way. When we deem a planet not worthy of surviving, we destroy it. And unfortunately, from what the condition have been for the past 200 years, it seems that their next target would be, if my thoughts are correct, will be our Earth, the elemental nations. They will take Chakra away at first and then destroy it. And not to mention, the seal that I placed my mother inside alongside my brother is weakening, meaning she will make her return in more or less than eight to nine years and once she do I want you to be ready and defeat her and seal her yet once again because only you in this timeline can do this what do you mean I am only are there more Naruto said because the memory alternation seals were removed he was now smart and he picked up on the little and little things Hmm, you are smart. Well, you see, I had two sons, Ashura, the sun, and Indra, the moon. Well, Indra was a prodigy and Ashura was kind of goofy. And I gave them a test to pass on my ninshu. Obviously, Indra was a better choice, but because of his skills and other things. But because of triads and politeness and kindness in Ashura's heart, I chose him as my successor. And that's where the battle of Uchiha's and Senju's began for centuries. And hence their souls departed from the land of living and took the form to rebirth again 
and again and again. But in this timeline, Asura's soul never came. No, only sorry, Indra's soul never came into reincarnation after the last defeat. So my guess is that only Asura is reincarnated in hopes of meeting his brother yet once again. But it is not reincarnated. So meaning I have to give you the power of both the sun and the moon seal. You are the only one that can stop the threat that is approaching the elemental nations which is none other than my mother and save this world from our Suzuki's who might come here to destroy it. You have to convince them after fighting them proving that you are strong enough to be the guardian and once you defeated them you will be placed as this world's guardian meaning the world is safe. Why should I save this world? It has given me nothing but pain, pain and suffering and betrayal. Why should I save this world? Because you are better than the Naruto. I know you don't hate them, I can see it in your eyes, but you don't trust them anymore. Why should I trust them? I agree to you that I still think of them as precious people and will protect them, even in the shadows, but they have betrayed me hurt me beyond belief I I can't put my trust in them anymore you don't have to but that doesn't mean that you cannot make any new bonds when old bonds severe you shall form new bonds you see when a child grows and his parents grow older they pass away leaving the child alone meaning the previous bonds are served and when the child meets his destined one and forms a new family he creates new bonds just like that you have to create new bonds when the old are broken or severed the old sage explained in a low level manner so that even naruto could understand hmm i guess you're right old man naruto said as his black eyes were yet once again filled with life I see. Now connect both of your palms with mine. And Naruto connected. On his right palm was the sun, and on his left palm was the moon seal. Oh, I guess I got new tattoos. Naruto, these are not such some tattoo or things you are mentioning. These are the symbols of sun and the moon, meaning you are the heir of the ninshu as well as ninjutsu. And now you are the next sage of six paths. And now I'm going to train you in your powers, which are, I guess, wood release, and your new Rinnegan. Wait, what? What Rinnegan? Your Dojutsu. I don't have any Dojutsu. If I had, then I might have activated it. Naruto, look in the mirror. As the old sage snapped his fingers and in and midair appeared a mirror as Naruto looked into it. Naruto on his left eye had a Rinnegan similar to that of Sasuke in canon, like Rinne Sharingan, and has the same abilities as him. Meaning he can switch through dimensions as well as, um, you know, the transporting thing where he can transport a jutsu and strike the opponent or can switch places between opponents and objects, just like their things. And oh yeah, he can form Susanoo as well. Why not? Anyways, back to the story. Cool, now to begin. So, what I'm going to train, old man sensei? <laughs> I guess happiness and smile truly does suit you, Naruto. I hope you can form new bonds in the future. I'll try, I guess. Anyways, I have a world to save. Let's begin. And so, Naruto began his journey of six years in becoming the new heir to the Ninshu and Ninjutsu and as well as the new sage of the six paths also learning his kekagenkai and dojutsu whereas back in the land of fire konoha kakure no sato it has been two months since naruto's banishment as well as the sage of six path has taken him as sonade stood up in, on the hokage's tower and in front of her were the populace of konoha kakure no sato alongside her koharu danzo humura and Jiraiya as she began people of Konohagakure no Sato 
I have dire and craving news for you. As murmurs began to erupt from the crowd. What is it, Lady Hokage? Well, you see, we have banished an innocent. At mentioning these words, everyone was also in murmurs. What do you mean, Lady Hokage? All we did was banish the demon. Yes, I'm talking about him. Well, you see, Naruto was not the Jinchuriki of the QB from the very beginning. After hearing these words, everyone was shocked. What? But he was born at the day QB attacked. Well, you see, there were two children born at the day the QB attacked. Mine and Jiraiya's, the Senju here, as well as Uzumaki Kushina's and Namikaze Minato's daughter. Who is the true Jinchuriki of QB no Kitsune? And three of them devised a plan. Oh, sorry, two of them devised a plan. They stole our son, so making us think that he's dead, and put a residual of chakra, just chakra, inside of Naruto, so that everyone could be fooled that believing he is the Jinchuriki of Kyuubi, and taking their daughter, who was the original Jinchuriki, away from the opulence of Konoha in their time of need so that they can protect their daughter after hearing this everyone was angry at their favorite hero even as going as far as to denounce him as their hero and Hokage and demanding Hokage to remove his head from their Hokage monument Rastunaze Snade put her hand up Silence, I have yet more to announce. Naruto is none other than mine and Jiraiya's son who was framed. And his full name is Sunad Senju Naruto. After mentioning these words, everyone was shocked. The one they thought of as a demon and banished was none other than a Senju here. And when one of the civilians spoke, well, he did kind of hurt the last Uchiha. We plus we didn't knew he was a Senju at the time. Well, you see, the Uchiha lied. We have seen his memories alongside the rest of the council, and deemed him as a traitor. You see, he went to Orochimaru willingly. First, we all believed that he was being influenced by the seal placed by Orochimaru, but he was happy that the seal was placed on him that it gave him power to kill his own brother. He never really cared about Konoha no Sato. All he wanted was revenge. He was even agreeing to give up his own body once his revenge was extracted. Even far on going to give Konoha's secrets to Orochimaru. What? As everyone was erupted in chaos and demanded that Uchiha should be executed and that's not all you want to hear what's the funny part is we think the uchiha are high and mighty you know what uchiha were the uchiha were the ones which were behind the attack of kyubi no kitsune both times firstly hashirama senju my grandfather was able to defeat madara who was controlling kyubi no kitsune with his sharing gun and second time minadona mekaze sonata said with venom was able to defeat Kyubi no Kitsune by sealing it inside his own daughter and framing my son for it. Jiraiya and the Konoha populace was angry after the mentioning of Minato again. Oh, they were going to give them a warm welcome that they desired so much. Kakashi has said then, Okara gives him a permission to freak speedily. Permission to speak freely. You have been granted of that, Kakashi. Now speak. I am going to remove the traitor's head from the Hokage monument, Kakashi said. As he vanished via Sunshin and slammed his Raikiri atop of Minato's head, sending it crashing down into the rubbles. As everyone started to piss on the head of Minato alongside throwing eggs, rotten things on it. And so Minato's head was removed as Kushina's head was oh, sorry, Sonata's head was built there, replacing Minato's. 
and Asuma was also angry at his father for he was also behind this but his father always tried to save Naruto he had a guilt look of guilt in his eyes meaning he had sometimes tr- started to see that this plan was nothing but a failure and so they started to wait when as well as the Konoha 11 started to train even Sakura started to train but Tsunade never took her under her wing because she was the one who hurted his son the most and so after two years we see three people walking at the gates of Konoha please can we see your ID began Kotatsu and Izumu was behind him yes we have to see your IDs before we let you pass ah Izumu Kotatsu how have you been who are you ah come on you guys have you guys hurt me by forgetting about me it's me Minato and this is my wife Kushina and this is my daughter Natsumi Aya said Natsumi hmm. as Izumu and Kotatsu narrowed their eyes Izumu go inform Hokage-sama that the Namikazes are here he said with venom as he said hi as Izumu vanished and Kotatsu was there as it didn't go unnoticed by the three, three present there and after some time Anbu appeared Uzuma, Uzumaki Kushina Minato Namekaze Uzumaki Natsumi you are to come with us to the Hokage and the council as they started to walk towards the Konoha and the council as people were clearing at the trio some even with disgust as a trio was shocked that why would they do that and then Kushina pointed suddenly with eyes widening at the Hokage's monument Minato l- look at the Hokage's monument oh my what 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 why would they do that as they saw that Minato's head was replaced by Tsunade's but he ignored it and went to the Hokage's office and to the council chambers straight away as the trio entered in front of them was pissed off shinobi council as well as angry Chiraya and Tsunade two welters which were ready to kill them and one impassive Homura and um, angry civilian council as Minato began well hello everyone and none of them answered <laughs> I see we have some explanations to do not some explanations Minato a lot a lot of explanations to do so begin why did you frame my son what how do you know well it's obvious that we know it's because of me I was there all along watching from the shadows remember Danzo began Danzo not Minato narrowed his eyes I should have killed you when I had the time I knew that you would be a traitor using me Anbu arrest this man as none of the Anbu came Minato was shocked Anbu arrest this man I have given my order as I was the Hokage to to him that he should end his knee Anbu and he still hasn't I have given orders for his knee Anbu to be reinstated but he will only train the orphans who wanted to be trained who wanted to prove their worth to the village he would not kidnap or hurt anyone Begin Tsunade Why would you do that? You know he's crazy and all Kushina began Shut up Kushina I am talking to Minato Why did you frame my son? Uh, Sensei I know I am sorry that I did that but it was necessary I had to take Natsumi away from the village I knew the people will never see them as hero so I thought that maybe if I use Naruto as a scapegoat maybe then my family can live in peace you know that I was an orphan so I couldn't just sacrifice my daughter saying that she was the Jinchuriki of Kyubi no Kitsune I knew everyone will hate her but we don't love her anymore than now because of you we have banished an error to send you clan and you will pay for it began a fat civilian as the trio was in shock 
What? Let's question up again. Is this how you pay us for saving your asses from Kyubi no Kitsune? We should have let the beast kill you all. You are so selfish. Oh, look who's talking. Tsunami began, standing up. You let that pup rot here, who was not even yours, and used, as a, used him as a scapegoat, scapegoat so that you can train your own pup? You truly disgust me, Kushina. As you as well, Minato. She is a real demon. Execute her and send them to prison. They have betrayed us. They are traitors. Began the shouts of the civilian council as the trio was shocked. Well, what do you suggest? I, Shikaku Nara, head of the Nara clan, denounce him or the Uzumaki clan as a clan of Konohagaku Renosato. They are to be banished from the village without to return after their chakra is completely sealed off alongside their memories so that they cannot use any ninjutsu or fuinjutsu ever to unlock them back what you cannot do this to us oh we will and we already have as chakra suppression barrier was erupted like what you see Minato I call it chakra suppression barrier I created it as the three trio fell to the ground why are you doing this, Sensei? I did what was best for the village. No, Minato. You did what was best for the family. Your family. You destroyed my family. I have lost my son twice because of you. I denounce you as my student and apprentice. And so have the torts. I, Sonata, send you, denounce you from the Uzumaki clan because I am an elder and half Uzumaki you Kushina have broken the rules never leave your own kin Naruto was my own son meaning he was related to you as well but you agreed leaving him behind as if was nothing meaning you have left behind an Uzumaki and by the gods of the Uzumakis I hereby banish you and Natsumi Uzumaki from Uzumaki clan you are to never use Uzumaki name ever again what? How can you do this, Baj? How? Because you did, didn't do any good to my son as well. Anbu, take them. Reseal their memories about regarding chakra, ninjutsu, and seal their chakra away permanently. Should they ever try to break the seal, they should be dead on the spot. They said. And so the trio was punished for their crimes and then we move on to another time skip time skip the six year has been completed of naruto's trading naruto was currently standing in front of a child tail beast which was um the ten tails you can say shinju which was corrupted by none other than kaguya as naruto appeared in front of it as everyone was now looking at him, he had six black orbs levitating behind him. He had a black rod in his hand. As he had the sage marks of Senju on his face. And one of his eyes held the rainy gun as he spoke. Senju, calm down. He said activating his rainy gun and breaking the curse that was placed on Senju's and calming him down as Senju crawled towards Naruto and started rubbing his head on his hand. I see you have come back, my friend. Now, Zatsu, it is time I deal with you as well. Curse you. I know you. You're the Naruto kid. I see that you have the powers of both Indra and Ashura, meaning you're the new sage. <laughs> But you cannot stop me. Oh, I will. Universal pull. As he started to fly towards Naruto, and a black cloud erupted from his hand and stabbed him. And he commanded one of his true seeking orbs to absorb completely the black Zetsu. As black Zetsu was absorbed completely. As Naruto became the new Jinchuriki of the Jubi. 
His skin didn't turn white though, he stayed the normal Naruto as he was. His left eye was still in his Sharingan and his right eye was black as he looked back at the crowd. Hmm. I see you have completed what your task was Madara. <laughs> I know right? Now I want to dance with you new sage. I want to test your powers alongside with mine. We both are new sages after all and there is only one room for one in this world. And suddenly his body, Madara's body started to grow into a mush of black and suddenly from within the black came out Kaguya or Suzuki. Mm, I see you are the new sage after my son. I despise you alongside him. I will get my chakra back from you please. Now please will you die? As she leapt forward Naruto said Shinra Tensei as she flew back and then he made a hand seal and said Chibaku Tensei and she was trapped inside a huge dome of block of rocks and then she used her dimension rift to move into another dimension. Naruto followed quickly after using his Rinnegan ability as the rest of the shinobi world was still trapped in cocoons and their own dream world. Back into the reality. We see Naruto standing alone in front of Kaguya. You cannot defeat me. Even my both sons had to fight a lot longer and I only let them see me so that I can return once they are dead. And now I have perfect opportunity. I can finish my job, cleanse this world from hate and then finally destroy it. I have deemed it not worthy of being having a guardian such as me but well, I'll be the guardian I have to defeat you in order to be the guardian of this world yes you are correct young one but you cannot defeat me shut up Naruto then formed a hand seal as his siege markings appear yet again wood style wood dragons a stool dragon emerged from the ground straight towards charging at Kaguya as Kaguya dodged them easily, as Naruto was vanished from her eyesight and appeared behind her and slapped her in the back of her head, sending her down, crashing in the ground. Her beautiful face was bruised, and Naruto wasn't having it. Well, you see, I am going to knock some sense into you. You ate the chakra fruit, didn't you? Yes, I did. And it opened my eyes. Here, you can see the third eye. All I see is a bitch who has gone crazy over the time. Now let me put you out of your misery. <laughs> well you see you cannot kill us. That is the thing of more famous about the hot Suzuki's. We will give you the karma seal. In return we will take over your body once the karma seal reaches 100%. Meaning we will be reborn in your own body. Hmm, interesting. Now I can finally seal you. What? As two clones erupted from the side, slamming both of their hands into her head and sealing her and squashing her face a little bit, breaking her jaw. Seal complete! Moon and Sun Seal! Formation! As two hands connected together, Kaguya was yet again sealed in the moon. But Naruto didn't seal her in the moon this time. You escaped the moon because it was cold, right? Now you'll be sealed inside the sun near to its core. No, please, no! Kaguya began to shout. Nope, you deserve this for what you have done to this world. As Naruto then returned back to the original timeline and undid the infinite Tsukiyomi as everyone was staring at the blonde man in front of him. And some of them even recognized him, even Shuraya who was alive and Akatsuki who was betrayed by him were there and as well as you can say um, nobody practically died practically died from the original series so everyone was there as Rukin 11 rushed towards him Naruto Naruto lifted his hand as in motioning for them to stop ah, I have saved them that doesn't mean that I have forgiven you all I don't trust you let's be honest here 
and I have saved this world because I am its new guardian I have to protect it even if I don't like people living within it I have a duty and I will fulfill that duty as it is the will of my master and it is now my will to carry on Naruto began as he levitated it from the ground into the air Naruto please my son I I know mother you didn't know and I have forgiven you for that and you too father but that doesn't mean I trust you now you have left me at my lowest and now I'm at my peak and you want me to return never I have a duty to fulfill and it is a duty for this world to be protected from the rest of the Akatsuki's as now I am its guardian I have to serve my bonds with you to form the new ones and hence my bonds are served with you and my purpose is served thank you for giving birth to me I hope we never meet again Naruto said as he vanished in front of their eyes as they were crying in tears cursing Minato and Kushina yet again and their dead daughter because QB was extracted from her hence our story concluded as Naruto was now the new guardian and savior of this world the prophecy was fulfilled and the elemental nations came together in unison even the rest of the ne- elemental nations still hated Konoha for what they did to the new state of six parts but they still had to live in peace and over the time they overcame their hate and formed a new unified nation they named it named it Erangel. Sorry I couldn't come up with a better name. Erangel is basically a name from PUBG map. So yeah, I came up with that. <laughs> Anyways, as Erangel was formed, it was like a whole new place. Children playing and everyone using chakra for the betterment and making their life better, not for war. This is how the sage imagined chakra being used and this is how Naruto make it into reality and hence Naruto was now the guardian as the rest of the Akatsuki was now very afraid of Naruto because he after defeating Kaguya was the second most strongest in the clan and the first one being Ishiki. Ishiki wanted to come and destroy Naruto but after both of them met they came to an agreement to never try to attack each other and formed a brotherly bond again as within Akatsuki Ishiki's daughter Itsumi or Suzuki married Naruto and had their son Boruto or Suzuki and hence our story here concludes once and for all I hope you like this one and if you do please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel and suggest me some new ideas for movies if you like my unscripted versions of them Anyways, this is Apollo Uchiha and I'm signing out. Peace.